Today we're gonna talk about real-time aura effects, which is a robust collection of real-time visual effects that can add a cool aura or energy field around your 3D models. It comes with 14 distinct aura effects assets, which can be easily dragged and dropped onto any character or object into your scene. So, in just a couple of seconds, a 3D model can be enveloped in flames, electricity, swirly magic, or just smoke. Whatever best fits your situation. So, one of the pack's biggest strengths is its ease of use. So, you don't need to set up complex node trees or fiddle around with particle systems to get these effects. So, everything is essentially plug and play. I mean, using an aura from the pack is as simple as dragging the asset into your Blender scene and assigning your target object as the emitter for the effect. By default, each aura uses a placeholder, which you can swap with your own mesh, and the effect will instantly bind to the object shape. Performance-wise, real-time aura effects is optimized for live in-viewport use, so it is built to run on Blender's EV render engine, which ensures that all the glowing blooms, lightning arcs, or swirling particles update in real time as you animate or pose your scene. This real-time performance is a huge advantage, so you can preview the full quality of the aura effect without waiting for long rendering times. But here's the thing. Complex effects might normally bog down a scene, so in this case, they are handled with efficient shader and geometry setups under the hood, so even multiple effects can play together without a problem. Notably, a few of the assets, such as the electric arts, the lightning blitz effect, the particle aura, and the intense wrath aura are not strictly tied to EV, and can also work in other rendering contexts. However, the pack really shines when used with EV. In terms of workflow compatibility, this effects pack is quite flexible. I mean, it integrates seamlessly into Blender's pipeline. For example, you can use these aura assets in cinematic animation projects to add high-quality effects layers to characters or environments, or maybe in a game development workflow for concept and cutscene creation. Because the auras run in real time, they are great for pre-visualization and quick prototyping. For example, a game artist can mock up how a magic aura should look on a character in Blender, and then recreate a similar effect in a game engine, using the Blender version as a reference. When it comes to visual quality and versatility, each aura effect is crafted with layers of detail to achieve the desired look. Many combined glowing surfaces, wispy secondary effects, sparks or particles, and even lights to enhance realism. This multi-layered approach makes the auras feel alive and cinematic, especially with Eevee's bloom and shadows adding depth. And here is the thing. From what I can see, despite its complexity, the effects remain highly customizable. Each asset comes with its own set of controls, so you can fine-tune things like the aura size, color, intensity, flicker speed or expansion radius to fit your scene. In fact, every aura can be adjusted individually to get the look just right. As you can see, this flexibility and versatility also extends to different kinds of characters and motions. The auras can adapt to animated characters. For instance, there is an option to use the character's UV map to anchor effects like fire to the body, so the flames stick naturally even if the character moves or dances around. This means no weird sliding or lagging behind, because the aura truly feels attached to the character or the body. Last but not least, I would say this pack is convenient simply because, instead of having to buy or assemble separate packs together, like fire, electricity, magic, etc., this one collection covers a wide range of aura styles in a unified way, all pre-built with consistent quality and workflow. So this all-in-one approach kind of saves you a lot of time, especially if you are a VFX artist or if you make animations that need these effects. And there you have it, guys. If you are interested in these effects, you will find all the necessary links in the description. I hope you guys found this video useful and informative. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel to receive more videos like this. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.